Here are five things I wish I knew before attending CSULB. The friends you meet in the dorms are so important. There's a good chance they become the friends you maintain throughout your college career. Because CSULB is a commuter school, on-campus housing is really competitive, and therefore it is often wise to apply for housing even if you aren't certain you are going to attend. Once you get there, be that shameless person who knocks on your neighbor's door asking to go to the dining hall or to that party together. You don't need to listen to everything your advisors during orientation tell you. When signing up for your first semester classes, they will advise incoming freshmen to sign up only for the classes that fulfill the most basic general education requirements. In my experience, this was the worst advice I received. Once you get into upper division courses in your junior and senior years, a lot of these classes fulfill more than one requirement. Avoid the hot food bar in the back corner of the dining hall, especially when it's taco night. Just don't do it. Your stomach will thank you. And although there is no shortage of unidentifiable, disgusting-looking dishes and junk offered at all meals, try to make the most of the dining hall experience and the healthy food options that are offered. The salad bar, with a lot of fresh produce and healthier protein options, was vastly underappreciated. Take advantage of all the resources that the campus and the university have to offer. For example, the dance department at CSULB had an amazing state-of-the-art clinic where we could get treatment, use expensive exercise equipment, learn how to work out and maintain our health, and talk one-on-one -on -one with a professional physical therapist or sports trainer. It was open every day of the week, and I didn't start going until the end of my junior year. What a waste. Choosing a state school where I could graduate without student loans was the best decision I made. CSULB may not have been the fancy, private, liberal arts college with its own chicken coop and sustainable garden, but damn, it feels really good to graduate without being tens of thousands of dollars in debt. Looking back, I wish I had known earlier how lucky I was to get the education I did because I would have appreciated it more. So for more tips and tricks on colleges and universities, check out our website.